Oh, hey everyone, this video is about the Swiss Micros DM41X, which is a clone of the venerable HP 41CX in a modern hardware architecture. And the CX was the last of the HP 41C family of calculators that first came on the market in 1979. And at the time, they were revolutionary devices. Not only were they the first calculators to support alphabetic characters, but they are also expansible via four ports at the top of the calculator. And these ports allowed external hardware and software modules, uh, such as this card reader, uh, to be plugged in. And they also supported a whole slew of accessories, such as optical wands, printers, and touchpads, as well as supporting the interface loop, or HPIL. And this was an early networking bus that allowed the 41C to control and communicate with lab devices, tape drives, and other computers. And I say other computers because the 41C family really went well beyond other calculators of the time, and was really HP's first general purpose handheld computing platform. And the 41C family was on the market for over a decade until 1990, and over the last 40 years, uh, it has accumulated a, a wealth of modules and libraries and still has an active user and collector community, many of whom have been eagerly anticipating the release of the Swiss Micros device. So physically, you can see the DM41X is uh, similar in width and height to the original HP, but it is considerably thinner. And it shares the same hardware platform as the DM42, uh, you can probably even load the DM42 firmware, although the uh, keyboard is a different layout. And the build quality is remarkable. Its case is made from stainless steel with matte black PVT coating, and it feels reassuringly hefty for its size at 180 grams. Uh, on the back are four feet uh, to stop the calculator from slipping, and it has the same reference diagram as the HP, uh, but laser engraved. And the 41X has a high contrast uh, 14 to 1 uh, LCD display, which looks really great. Uh, and uh, the display supports uh, 400 times 240 pixels and behaves in a similar way to an e-ink display, where the contents of the LCD is visible uh, for a long time after the calculator is turned off. So for example, now the calculator is actually turned off, um, but still displaying this image. And the keyboard is also really good, um, although not quite as great as the chamfered keys on, on the original, but the keys have a satisfying click to them, and they're not as hard to press as earlier uh, DM42 models. And as you can see, the Swiss Micros key is not identical to the original HP, uh, so there's an extra column uh, of keys on the right of the keypad that includes the uh, on uh, user and program and alpha mode keys. And there's also new up and down keys, uh, which are used for navigating menus and program editing. There's also a custom key, uh, which is a new key that acts as a second uh, shift that we'll see later. And there's also a new display mode key, which toggles between display modes. And I think there will be a lot of opinions on the layout of the keyboard, but I think overall Swiss Micros did a great job on the keyboard layout, and it shouldn't be too difficult for 41C users to get used to. I do see myself sometimes accidentally hitting uh, the on-off key, but it's not a big issue because you can just hit it again to turn the calculator back on again. And the keypad is uh, recessed, uh, which means that the can potentially allow keyboard overlays to be installed. Uh, connectivity wise the calculator has a micro USB port for connecting it to a computer as a storage device and it has an IR transmitter that is compatible with the original HP 82240 printer and also has a 4 Hz piezoelectric sound buzzer. Uh, the Swiss Micros doesn't support obviously the original hardware modules like the wands, the card reader or the interface loop, uh, but these ports were most often used for software modules and of course uh, the DM41X does allow modules to be easily loaded and installed via USB. And the Swiss Micros uses a low power 80 MHz ARM CPU that is powered by a single 3 volt battery 
and it runs a modified 41CX firmware that emulates the original HP NAT proprietary CPU. And the Swiss Micros runs at about 50 times the normal speed of the HP. And it comes with a five year warranty. So the DM41X is a RPN mode calculator with a four level stack. So to calculate two plus three times four, you'd enter those numbers onto the stack uh, and then hit multiply and then plus. And the calculator stack supports three display modes that can be rotated through uh, via the display key. Uh, so this mode uh, is showing all four primary registers. Uh, or you can see uh, the system info, uh, the alpha register, and the X register. Or system information, uh, the Y register, and the X register. And I primarily stick to uh, this mode. Uh, but I do find the Alpha and X register mode useful when running programs with Alpha prompts. And there are the basic scientific functions such as uh, trigonometric and powers and roots uh, available directly via the keyboard. And you can switch between fixed scientific and engineering notations. Uh, so say we can pick fixed and then enter uh, the number of decimal places as an argument. And alphabetic values are stored in a special Alpha register. So say if I hit the blue alpha, uh, I can type in um, a, a character string and then hit alpha again to, to store that value. And uh, the DM41X has over 200 built-in functions, but most of them are not directly assigned to keys. Uh, and so to access these, you use the execute key. Uh, so for example, to execute a factorial function, uh, we can type our number into the stack uh, and then hit execute and then type in uh, factorial. And to see a catalog of all the built in functions, uh, we can enter the catalog key and then the number three and run stop pauses this. Uh, and resumes. And the calculator supports the usual store and recall functions. Uh, so I can hit uh, store uh, followed by a register number uh, and then I can hit uh, recall and the register. And the 41X supports user keyboard mode. Uh, and in this mode, any key can be mapped to a function via the assign operation. And this was used very extensively in the 41C libraries in conjunction with keyboard overlays. And the Swiss Micro supports space for overlays, and there are schematics available uh, that might be used to make your own. An extension that the Swiss Micros provides is custom keys. And this allows the user to define shortcuts to functions, which saves a lot of time typing strings. Uh, so to configure this, uh, you hit the custom key, uh, and as you can see, I've defined a bunch of uh, shortcuts to common functions from A to F. So for example, A is factorial. Uh, and you can save different mappings uh, in different files. Uh, so for example, to run factorial, uh, all I have to do is type a number onto the stack and then hit custom A. Uh, and I can see my result. And this is a real time saver. And the 41C also supported a text editor for storing data in files. So to edit a file, you enter the file name in the alpha register and then run the ed uh, dollar sign command. And I've got this map to custom key B. And so in editor uh, mode, the entire keyboard is remapped in. Uh, there's a reference on the back of the calculator which explains the key mappings. On the HP, there was a keyboard overlay available. Uh, so for example, to scroll through the records, you can hit the uh, arrow keys, and to enter a new record, you can hit uh, run stop. And files were used on the 41C uh, to store um, data uh, and also uh, programs uh, which could be accessed later. And of course, the 41X also supports keystroke programming. 
Because the 41C supported alphabetic characters, uh, this is always much more friendly than previous HP calculators. And the original 41C had a number of instructions that allowed programs to prompt for data, display results, and other operations. So it became known as 41 Calculator Language or Focal. And this was an area where uh, the Swiss Micros really shines because its large display allows the user to view up to eight lines of code at once. Uh, and we can hit the program key to see a simple program uh, to calculate the area of a circle from a radius. Uh, so it begins by defining its label area, uh, squares the X register, and then multiplies it by pi. Uh, and um, in program mode, um, there's a number of different display modes. So this um, mode shows six lines, uh, there's an eight line mode, a one line mode, and a four line mode. And uh, to go back and run the program, we can e exit out, um, enter our radius, and then hit uh, execute, uh, and then area. And the 41X also supports a number of libraries that allow ENCODE uh, to be assembled uh, and it also supports synthetic programming uh, where new um, opcodes are created. Uh, and one of the best features of the Swiss Micros is the ease of managing third-party modules. And it's a three-step process, uh, so copying uh, the module file from a PC importing the file from the fat drive to flash storage and then plugging the files into 41x pages. So copying modules from PC or Mac is really easy because the calculator acts as a USB storage device and you can just drag and drop files without any special software. And the DM41x already comes with the original 20 HP packs already on it. Uh, so to plug these in uh, we can go into the setup menu uh, and then select uh, modules and active modules and you can see that I already have the advantage pack plugged in uh, and I can view um, other modules available in the import menu and you can see there's the aviation module, uh, finance, uh, games, uh, petroleum and, and so on. Uh, and there's also uh, a handy memory uh, ROM map, uh, which will show you whereabouts in uh, your pages and banks uh, your modules are loaded. Uh, and to show you that I have the um, advantage pack uh, here, I can go back out to uh, my stack view and run the time value of money uh, commands and you can see that it's prompting me for my financial variables uh, to solve. And another uh, great extension feature provided by the DM41X is the ability to save and restore states. Uh, so for example, if you wanted to do uh, M code programming, uh, you might have a state file saved uh, with the appropriate modules and custom keys defined. So in summary, the 41X is a really beautiful and well thought out device. It's a faithful emulator of a beloved calculator, but through its fantastic build quality, its large screen and its extensions, it really improves on the original 41CX in many ways. Uh, the large screen makes the calculator a lot more usable, both for day-to-day -day calculations and programming. But really the killer feature is its ability to easily plug in modules in a way that mimics the ease of use of the original hardware. And this allows the user to easily explore the wealth of software that has been built for the calculator over almost four decades. And the 41X is also a really impressive technical feat. Uh, the device is running the original firmware, uh, but with so many useful extensions. So I think it's a great product for those who want to explore one of the most versatile calculator platforms ever created. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful.